Ratatouille. Now, I completely agree. The animation stinks, but maybe the people in Brazil can't watch Ratatouille and this is all they have. I really feel sorry for them if that's the case, but that doesn't change that this movie is still terribly made. I watched this a while back and I was bored throughout the entire thing. This movie isn't even an hour long and it felt like forever. Although, I will give credit, at least they do try to be somewhat original and different to the Pixar movie. In this film, this rat Marcel runs a restaurant and every rat loves this restaurant. But there are these rats that want to compete against this restaurant, so they decide to find out what makes the food so good. It turns out that the rats running Ratatouille steal food from a human kitchen. So the rats competing against them decide to sabotage them so that they can beat their restaurant. Now this movie is still a ripoff to Ratatouille. It still has some similarities with the rats wanting to cook, them going to a human kitchen in order to get food, and the entire conflict of restaurants. It derives from Ratatouille. Now this isn't the most offensive movie I've ever seen but it is definitely far from good. Number nine, The Wild. A ripoff from Disney. This is at a time when they were really struggling in the animation industry. So they decided to copy the 2005 hit Madagascar. Now I'm not a big fan of Madagascar, but at least it tried something new. And it worked. This film does not work on any level. This movie is unoriginal, confusing, it doesn't know what tone it wants to set, it doesn't know what type of film it wants to be, a fun family comedy, or a dark, serious drama. It's no surprise that The Wild didn't make any impact whatsoever, other than just being a cheap Madagascar clone. The characters are highly unlikable and annoying, the jokes are lowbrow, and the story is all over the place. But if you somehow like The Wild, I respect your opinion. For me, I just can't get into this cheap Madagascar clone. Number 8. The Little Panda Fighter. Yet another cheap ripoff of a popular animated feature. And again, they did change some things, but unlike in Ratatouille where it was kind of interesting the things they changed, this movie's story is completely all over the place. Ugh. This animation is some of the worst to ever be made into an animated feature. So it's obviously a ripoff of Kung Fu Panda, and like I said, they did make some changes, but they were still too similar to the original DreamWorks masterpiece. Ugh. This is the thing that I hate the most about this movie, this right here. I mean, look at this character. Ugh, it's revolting. Do you seriously think that your audience would find this character appealing? This is what makes it worse than Ratatouille. This very thing right here. It's grotesque, it's revolting, and it's hideous to look at. Oh, and I didn't uh, comment on this before, but I hate how they over-sexualize the animals. The rats in Ratatouille and the bears in Little Panda Fighter. This movie has so many things wrong with it, and it is just so atrocious, so lazy, and so uninspired. I don't need to say anymore. It's a cheap ripoff of Kung Fu Panda that only wanted to jump on the bandwagon of all of the popularity of that film instead of trying to be its own thing. I honestly don't recommend this movie. And the seventh 